Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. The title of this video must be annoying for some people and the reason for that is that I'm not going to say life doesn't have a meaning but I am going to give you some points of view that are going to probably change and shift the way that you perceive things but in order to do so you have to be very open-minded to other opinions. I just want to remind you that you constantly change and shift your opinions about life. So what you should really focus on is that value vibration, okay? When I say life has no meaning, what do you feel in that vibration? Does it, does it contradict your current programming? Do you want to resist it? Do you want to say, if life has no meaning, what are we doing here? No, the meaning of life is to have kids. Yes, and they will have also kids, and they will have also kids. No, the meaning of life is to have fun. No, the meaning of life is to go back to life source. Yeah, where is the contradiction in that? When I say life has no meaning, where does it touch you? Why is there resistance? What would happen? What are you afraid of if life didn't have a meaning? Wouldn't that set you free? Wouldn't that mean that you don't have any expectations of yourself anymore? And you can be who you truly are, which by default is light and is happy. Like a child, you know, a child knows how to smile. They learn, you know, only later they learn how to be angry and, and sad and depressed and stuff like that. But by default, they learn how to smile, you know? And I've also, uh, you know, if we were religious, then we think that the meaning of life is the things are the things that are written in our absolute truth Bible or the New Testament or the Quran. And everyone gives life the meaning that they think by listening to others, by reading it in books, by thinking that this is, has been taught for generations and generations. This doesn't mean that it's your truth. Plus, nobody has said or proven with absolute certainty that life does have a meaning. And let me clarify it for you, because I've gone through different waves and different vibrations and different exchanges of information in order to conclude whatever it is my truth and my meaning, the, giving, the meaning that I give it, okay? When I was more dual, uh, when I was more green or even blue, uh, if we're talking about spiral dynamics definitions, and check out the video series about that because it will make you understand a lot about yourself and about humanity, you know? When I was more of the blue and the green in, the, in my deep past, I always thought that life does have a meaning. Growth, experience, you know, going towards the light, going back home to where my soul came from, connecting with God and the universe, being a better person, you know, expansion, okay, expansion. And then when I realized, or I had an epiphany a few times, you can check it out on my video, my near-death experience or my life, my death and rebirth experience, I don't remember how I named it, there was an awakening that occurred to the truth. And the truth is that only here, within this core, earth or humanity, or however you want to call it, this very, very low vibration, materialistic existence, and I'm not talking about something that is beyond that. Let's focus on our experience here as a soul incarnated into a specific human body in a specific country, in a specific time from the timeline itself. Here, we are searching for a meaning. And one of the reasons that we're searching for that meaning is, but is because it eludes us. We will never know what the meaning is. Okay, it's a question that is supposed to open our mind to continue the challenge of being a human being, to explore something that we are not aware of, to try to recollect and remember the things that we have previously chosen to forget in order to have that recollection once again, and to have an awakening, to work towards that awakening, to have a process that we have to go through in order to be awakened in some way. And we think that that is the meaning, but what happens when you do become awakened? And so the meaning disappears, why? Because there's no new meaning. There's no new meaning when you're connected with God in a deep meditation. There's no new meaning to breathing better or having a healthier lifestyle or even teaching others. It doesn't mean anything. It's just something that we have in this core of humanity. Now, this is where meaning exists because the meaning is what we give ourselves, you know? In the present, it doesn't mean that we need to have the meaning about the end of life. It means that right now we have a life and right now we give that life a meaning and that meaning changes when we change as well. But in the oversoul perspective, the oversoul is one point before the archangels and God creation and existence itself. From the oversoul perspective, that sees all our life 
consecutively, supposedly, yeah, from this perspective, from the dual experience, the timeline is consecutive. But from the oversoul, it seems like everything is happening at once. Again, the meaning is to have a life as a soul, to learn certain things as a soul, to bring that, that information, to be a co-creator with God or with creation itself, to be their eyes and to be their hands and to be the experiencer. But here you become the observer of that thing. So you're no longer that thing. You no longer have a meaning inside that little thing, inside the little earthly experience, the avatar, the soul that incarnates only to one experience. Remember, only things from that lifetime. So again, there's another higher meaning or a different meaning. But when you look at the grander scope of things, a total awakening and total enlightenment, and I'm not saying I'm there. I'm telling you that I've had very beautiful glimpses of that. And I came back with knowledge, experience, and information that has is, is completely changed the way that I perceive life, okay? So in the all that is, there is no meaning. Because meaning is a word, meaning is a direction, meaning is something that is defined in the dual experience or in the overall or, or oversoul experience, but it is not defined. God does not have a meaning. God is everything. So the meaning can be truth, it can be false, it can be darkness, it can be light. And you have to really understand the connection between light and darkness because one defines the other. One cannot exist without the other. Like uh, hot and cold. Hot cannot exist without the definition of cold. Beauty cannot exist without the definition of ugliness. Okay, and that's why we're, going, we're coming here to experience what we are not. We come here to experience as a soul, as a light, as a part of God, as the perfect being that we are, we come to experience what we are not so we can deeper our understanding of what we are not. Okay? And that is very important to understand. Very, very important to understand because that will explain to you that it's okay to have darkness, and it's okay to have misery, and it's okay to have suffering, and it's okay to have judgment, and it's okay. all these things are okay. It's all about that growth when we discover that we are light and we don't have to be, we don't have to have the drama. We can have the drama for one second and not for 10 minutes. We can have self-judgment, but then we have to move out of that self-judgment, okay? So once again, the meaning does not exist in the bigger picture. The meaning is that of a human being is what we are taught, what we are trained to think that maybe we have in order for us to trigger that exploration. The oversoul's meaning, if you want, is experience for the negative and for the positive. Why? Because there's many souls or there are many souls that come here or incarnate here to have a negative experience. But from the oversoul perspective, it is about gaining experience and expanding. And, and the best way I can tell you is that we always expand and then we come back to source. And then we expand even further and we come back to source. And it's infinite. It's infinite, it's never going to end. It's always going to be like that. There is no end because there was never a beginning to start with. And that's the beauty of it. So when you ask, what is the meaning of, there is no end. And if there is no end, there is no story to work. There's no timeline to move forwards in. Okay, so it doesn't matter where you end up. It doesn't matter if you end up in a bad experience, in a good experience. It's about the expansion and contraction. It's like a breath. This is why when we meditate, we connect with the breath. Our being is in that expansion and contraction, expansion and contraction. So if I've confused you, I'm very happy. This is part of the meaning. I want you guys to listen to that because information that is transferred through words and paragraphs and experiences is very hard to, to move from one person to the other. Ask yourself where you are triggered when you hear something like that and dig into that deeply and you're going to find amazing questions. And when you start living yourself from the higher, higher perspective, not the oversoul and not the human being, from the perspective of complete non-duality, you will see that there is actually no meaning, okay? Maybe there is a small task that you're going to enjoy. Maybe tomorrow is something completely different than today. Maybe you're gonna be depressed and sad, okay? All these things can happen. But when you live your life to the fullest, you don't need to define those things. You don't need to have a meaning or a direction, or I am the light, I'm a light worker, I'm moving in a certain direction, others are not moving in that my direction. That means that they are not something that I am. 
all these things, all these personal judgments about the world, about society, about your parents, about your partner, about who you are, they're all going to disappear. And you're going to be eventually very happy, much happier than you are today when you think that life does have a meaning that you have defined or someone else has defined for you. And it's going to change anyway because you change all the time. So you redefine that, def that belief or that definition again and again and again. <sighs> Whew. Namaste, my friends. Thank you very much for watching me. And I hope you join one of my physical workshops. This year we have a few on raymore.com. <laughs>